Hey guys, welcome to today's video. We're going to be breaking down the latest news around the NFL. Before we get started, though, please drop a quick like and a sub on today's video. That would really help my channel grow. I'd really appreciate that. With that said, let's dive right into the video, and I hope you enjoy. So, I know I'm a little late on this, but... The Miami Dolphins uh, decided tonight to sign Raheem Mostert and Alec Ingold to the roster. Two notable moves for this offense, and I really like them. I'm going to break them down pretty quickly. Alec Ingold, two-year deal, I think worth $7 million for a fullback. And you might be like, that's kind of overpaid for a fullback, but fullbacks are a big part of the offense that Mike McDaniel wants to implement. Remember, in San Francisco, where Mike McDaniel was last, they have Kyle Juszczyk, really big uh, fullback for them, both in the passing game and running game and as a blocker. Alec Ingold played with the Raiders over the past couple of years, one of the best fullbacks in the NFL. So I like the deal, and I like the commitment to running the football, as well as the commitment to having a fullback on the roster. A little bit old school football, but this is exactly Mike McDaniel's kind of scheme and the way he wants to play football. Also, Raheem Mostert, former running back of the San Francisco 49ers um, on a deal here. Obviously played under Mike McDaniel there in San Francisco. Really elusive and electric running back. His great speed, one of the fastest players in the NFL. And he'll add a nice one-two punch with Chase Edmonds, who obviously Miami signed on the first day of free agency. So the backfield looks to be Mostert and, and uh, Edmonds as the Dolphins move into the uh, you know the draft. And maybe they won't target a running back now as their backfield looks to be set between those two guys. Um, I like the pickup. I think he's good out of the backfield. Has had some injury concerns in, in previous years. Um, missed a ton of games last year and the year before. But when he's on the field, he's electric. He stretches the field out. Uh, really has that uh, you know explosive game running style to him. And I like what he adds in contrast to Chase Edmonds, who's much more of a passing back. Sure, Mostert can catch balls out of the backfield. Uh, but I really like Edmonds and Mostert. The combo there, I think, is going to be really good um, in Miami in the run game uh, under Mike. That said, that's pretty much going to end the video for today. Did you agree with my analysis? Why or why not? Leave your comments and thoughts in the comment section down below. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. Also, if you're new around here, please drop a like and a sub on today's video. I'd really appreciate that. With that said, I hope you enjoyed the video. And until next time, see ya.